In today's video, I am going to teach you how to draw the undirected graph G corresponding to the adjacency matrix. Whenever the adjacency matrix is given, so how to draw this undirected graph? There is no direction for this graph. And how to draw this? And let's get started to learn. See here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I am taking 5 vertices. This is 1, V2, V3, V4 and V5. And next one here, V1, V2, V3 v4 and v5 and now we have to plot all these vertices see here this is v1 this is v2 this is v3 this is v4 and here this is v5 now i have to plot the graph so before going to draw the graph, see here V1. So there is a relation here with V1, V2, V3, V4 and V5 as 0, 1, 0, 1, 0. And see here, with 1, uh, V1 to V1, there is no relation at all. So I am leaving that, I like that. With V1 to V2, there is a 1 here. So I have to take an edge with this. And next V1 to V3. So there is no edge with V1. To v3 and next v1 to v4 so here it is one so i have to take one edge so v1 to v5 no edge and next coming to v2 there is an edge with v1 so already it is done and next v2 to v2 0 and next v2 to v3 1 so v2 to v3 so i have to take an edge here and next v2 to v4 no edge v2 v5 so there is one edge here so here is the one edge v5 and next one talking about v3 so v3 to v1 no edge v2 to v3 to v2 there is one edge so it is already there and next v3 to v3 0 v3 v4 1 v3 v4 so here it is one i have to take one edge here and next one v3 to v5 so v3 to v5 there is one edge here and next one coming to v4 so v4 makes an edge with v1 so it is already done and v4 to v2 0 and v4 to v3 v4 to v3 there is already one edge and uh, with v4 v5 0 0 and next coming to v5 v5 to v1 0 no edge and v5 to v2 one edge v5 to v2 one edge is there v5 to v3 one edge and with v4 v5 0 0 and so this is the this is the undirected graph so this will be v5 so this will be the v5 so is it not simple if you have one here so you have to take one edge if you have zero there is no relation so this is how we have to draw the undirected graph. So, whereas it will be different for directed graph. So, in this case, so if we have 1, we have to take 1 edge. If we have uh, 0, so there is uh, no problem and we have to leave as it is. And next, coming to this graph. Next one, next thing here is, they are how many vertices are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, again, I am taking 5 vertices. This is V1, this is V2, this is V3, this is V4 and this is V5. And again here also, this is V1, V2, V3, V4 and next V5. And coming to this, so, this is V1 and this is V2. See here. Here it is V5, here I am taking V4, here I am taking V3. And see, I will plot each and everything here. And now, with V1, see all the relations with the remaining vertices. So, V1 has an edge with V1. So, it will be a loop here. And next, V1 has no relation with V2, 0. V1 has a an edge with V3. So, V1 has an edge with V3. See, clear? V1 has an edge with V4. V1 has an edge with V4. And next, clear. And next, coming to V2. V2, V1 relation is 0. V2 to V2, 0. V2 to V3. So, V2 to V3. I have to make two edges here. So, V2 to V3. So, from V2, I have to take 
two parallel edges two and next v4 there is no relation and v5 one edge is there so from v2 i have to take one edge and next coming to v3 here so here is v3 there is one edge with v1 so already done so from v3 i have an edge with v1 and next from v2 v2 has two edges so v2 also has two edges so v3 0 v4 0 v5 0 and next coming to v4 v4 has one edge with v1 v4 has one edge with v1 done and next v4 has zero relation with v2 v3 and again with v4 it has one so v4 to v4 so it's a loop and next v4 to v5 so v4 to v5 it is completed and next one coming to this v5 so v5 has no edge with v1 it has an edge with v2 it has an it has no edge with v3 and again with v4 it has an edge and this is how we have to complete the graph and see first of all we have to take all the edges all the vertices and we have to connect all the edges if there is one and if it is zero so we have to leave as it is and this is the graph this is the which graph undirected graph when coming to directed graph it is of a different method and just i'll be posting video on that please follow that also and hope you all guys understand so these are the two examples i have taken today and if you really like please pass it on to your friends practice and it will be very very helpful for you and uh, you can uh, draw any other graph using this concept thank you so much